Hi, my name is Leah. I'm a physiotherapist. And this is Ty. She's a massage therapist. And we're both kin stretch instructors here at move to move So today we're going to go through a drill for hip internal rotation. This usually becomes a problem in cases where you're experiencing some low back pain or some inner knee pain. And um, one of the tests that we're going to start with to see what your hip internal rotation looks like, and you can do this on both sides, it's usually easiest to do it in a seated position so you don't have to deal with balance. I'm going to get Ty to take the block and squeeze it between her knees. And she's going to slide back so that her feet are floating in the air. She's going to keep squeezing her knees into the block and on one side, so let's say her right side, she's going to start pulling her right foot away from her midline. So that will give you a general idea of what her hip internal rotation looks like on that side. And then let's compare sides, her hip internal rotation on her left side. So that's one test that you can do to just kind of get a general idea of what your rotation is side to side. When you're testing your hip internal rotation and you find that there's a discrepancy from side to side, or let's say one side you don't have any movement, that can cause problems in the inner part of your knee as well as in your low back. As you get into that rotation, you might compensate by hip hiking or creating more forces on the inside of your knee. So what we're going to do now is we're going to give you a tool that you can start working on at home, some pails and rails for that hip internal rotation to try to create more range of motion as well as some more body awareness into that position. So for Ty, we're going to take a dowel and we're going to place it between her legs. She's going to keep her feet in a dorsiflex position, so ankles are going to be locked and toes are going to be pulled up to her shin. She's going to keep the dowel in contact with the ground and she's going to be sliding the dowel in towards the side that she wants to be working on. So the leg that's not working is going to be anchoring the dowel. Knees can stay close together and she's going to just slide that dowel out to find her end range of hip internal rotation. The whole time she's going to be thinking about anchoring her sit bones down onto the ground keeping strong through her rib cage so she's not shifting her weight over and off of the side that she's working that hip internal rotation. For the pails and rails, she's going to hold this position for at least 90 seconds in a passive stretch. Let's say it's been 90 seconds. After that 90 seconds, she's going to start her first pails contraction. So what I'm going to ask Ty to do now is keep her knee in front of her hip and I'm going to have her actively start trying to push her heel in towards the dowel. 20% effort. Let's ramp it up to 40%, 60, 80, 100% effort for five, four, three, two, one without changing the rest of her body. She's going to try to now actively pull her heel off the, off the dowel internally rotating her thigh bone in the hip socket for five, four, three, two, one. Slide the dowel a little bit further so she's now in her new end range and she would start her next passive stretch here and another cycle of pails and rails.